everybody, I'm Dr. Kyle Stanley and we're here at my office in Beverly Hills, West Hollywood, Los Angeles, California. So come on in, I'll show you what we got here. Leonardo DiCaprio and Dr. Dre and so many patients that live right up here. And yes, lots and lots of veneers. We have everything set out individually. Price, is it you are paying for your university? For your university, yes. So USC cost me about $420,000. Hi everybody, I'm Dr. Kyle Stanley and we're here at my office in Beverly Hills, West Hollywood, Los Angeles, California. So come on in, I'll show you what we got here. So the main thing here is that we wanted our patients to come in and immediately see the Hollywood Hills. So up here, you know, you have celebrities like Leonardo DiCaprio and Dr. Dre and so many patients that live right up here. So many people that live right up here. Some are patients, some are not. And um, we wanted to really have that going through so that you see the natural light and uh, it feels more open because we don't have a big office. We do low volume, high end dentistry. So we really wanted to make it seem as big as possible, although it's a relatively small office. So not a lot of clutter here. You know, we don't like to put on advertising dentistry. We <laughs> want it to be relaxing and try to do something a little bit different than the average dental office. So let's go inside. So you'll notice that our operatories are relatively open. We have the difficulty here in that we have me that's left-handed and Dr. Najad and Dr. Helm that are right-handed. So we needed something that could go left and right and make it easy for, for everybody working here to be comfortable. So when you look here, we have these really cool rear delivery and these can move left and right. This can go to the other side. We use electric hand pieces that I know is very common in Europe, but not so common in the United States. And then we wanted to have, like I said, we don't have a lot of space. So what, what you notice is we don't have any side tables. So mm -hmm. what you do is you bring everything to the back and then if you do have to put something on the side, you actually inlay it, and us dentists are good at that, right? We inlay it into the wall. So to utilize some extra space in that. And then if you need extras, you know, we can make little secret compartments here. We also have little, little secret compartments coming over on the side like this. So we really had to design every aspect of this practice to make sure that we got maximum space out of this. Our chairs can swivel. And one thing that's cool about these chairs, and these are by angle, is that they can actually move forward and backward. So you can make an operatory that is relatively small, that feels relatively big because you take off all the side tables, you make the chair be able to do as much changes as possible, and you can move the delivery unit closer if you're left-handed or if you're right-handed. You can move everything around. And the other thing that we like to do is have everything that we need here. 
in the back. We don't want our, our assistants to have to be leaving and coming back and leaving and coming back. So everything for the day is here, unless it's a specialty procedure. So unless it's implants or surgery, but most restorative dentistry is right here. When you look here, we have everything that you need here from composites to suction tips, anesthesia, all ready to go at our assistant's fingertips. It allows us to stay close, not have to move too much, not have to extend ourselves, and we can be really efficient with this. So let me show you the other operatories. Uh, can you show us the cameras? Yes. That it is? Okay, Please. so we love cameras. We have a few here. <laughs> so this is, uh, this is my Nikon camera. And this is more for um, more for posterior shade matching, some shade matching, and you know full arch photography. And then we have more of our let's say aesthetic. And this is a Fuji with a Nikon lens, and with the um, not the bouncers. I can't even think what this is called now. <laughs> but to make soft light. So these are really nice for when you're doing, um, when you're doing photos for presentations or you know, show aesthetic treatment. That works really nicely. Mm -hmm. We have some of our extra post-COVID things like this, <laughs> the extra suctions that goes right up into the, patient's, into the patient's mouth. What you also may notice is TVs on the ceiling. Patients love that. What you also may notice is that there's no, he there's no light here. So we only use headlights. And the reason why is you can save money for sure because they're very expensive. Me being tall, I always hit my head on them and you're always adjusting them. So what we do is we all wear headlights, some of our assistants can wear headlights and it also makes it more open and less scary. So another thing, if you, if you move back and you come in and you look from this view, there's nothing scary attached to the chair. So you don't have the hand pieces coming around, you don't have the light, the suction. So from a patient experience standpoint, we really like this. We wanted it to be clean and um, not scary for the patients because we know that you know, patients don't want to come into a dental <laughs> office. So um, our other operatory is very similar. We wanted to make it so that there's, there's no big difference here that if I'm working here and Dr. Najat is working here and he runs over and I have to work in another one, that it's okay. So very, very similar in that. We don't have specific operatories for specific procedures because that doesn't really work with scheduling. If you go over here, what you'll see is this is the original plans of this office from 1964. So our practice has been here this long and we're lucky to have this, this history. And so, you know, some of the first veneers ever were made on this floor, actually in this practice and in a practice down the hall. And they were done just for the night. So like you would have, you know, the Oscars or the Emmys and <laughs> the celebrities would come in and Dr. Vogel here would do veneers just for one night. And just so that they look nice at the award shows and, um, and they would go on. So we have a history of a lot of old time celebrities here and that has continued on to having celebrities now in our practice, which is kind of a fun thing. Next up, we have our hygiene room. So, you know, I know it's not common in Europe, but in the United States, most doctors have hygienists. So hygienists are doing um, the cleanings, scaling and root planning, perio maintenance, you know, general prophylaxis. And so this is the same thing, very similar. We have the, uh, a, a different delivery unit because there, we don't need hand pieces here. And everything can, can move, adjust, we of course have the TVs on the ceiling and digital radiology. Um, but a comfortable place, you look, you can see out here, this area is called the Bird Streets. 
So the bird streets are all the all the streets are named after different birds like you know blue jay and etc. But a lot of big time celebrities and very wealthy people are right here. So we always know that if if a patient says like, oh, I walked here, or uh, you know, oh, it's really close, we always know that they won't have a problem affording treatment. <laughs> <laughs> so um, those are our three operatories. So again, not a big practice. We have, I didn't mention, we have our, our itero element over here that we really like. Now, the big secret to our success. Here he is, Paulo Batistella, oral design from Brazil. Hi. Say hi to everybody, Paulo. Nice to meet you guys. <laughs> so, coming from Russia, and uh, we're just doing an office tour today. Ah, okay. So, Paulo is, you know, trained in classic uh, dental technology, very aesthetic. We work super close on every case. You can see what he's doing right now. The nibs. Lots and lots of veneers coming from Dr. Najad. Biomimetic veneers. That's right. Biomimetic veneers. So, so me and Dr. Najad were both trained by the great Pascal Manier. So we try to practice as biomimetic as we can get. And that goes even into our, our laboratory design and the porcelain work. Trying to mimic nature, mimic you know, dentin and mamelons and how things age. So we never want our patients' friends to say like, oh, I love your veneers, right? <laughs> we want them to say like, wow, you have beautiful teeth, yeah. you, have, you have a great smile.